This video is brought to you by Zently. Hey guys, this is Sam, and following Apple's big September event today where they announced the iPhone 8 and the 8 Plus, the iPhone 10, along with a new Apple Watch and new Apple TV, they also seeded the Golden Master or GM version of iOS 11 to developers. The final update for public beta testers was released as well, so whether you were on the developer or public beta, there's an update available for your device today with a ton of new wallpapers and other improvements. So if we head over to settings and wallpaper, you will be able to see all 17 new wallpapers that were added. I actually previewed these when the iOS 11 GM leaked a few days ago, but for a quick refresher, you've got this Earth globe right here, the moon, the Earth at night, you've got the default iOS 11 wallpaper, along with keeping the iOS 10 and iOS 9 stock wallpaper, tons of new flower arrangements here with gradient backgrounds and flowers that pop in the foreground. I actually like these a lot, and I can't wait to see how they look on the OLED screen on the iPhone 10. And then you also have seven retro Apple wallpapers as well, which is totally different from the design language and all the others which are like realistic actual images these are just lines with a colored background and they look great they're super retro they scream classic Apple I just don't know if I see myself using any of these and finishing off the set here is this final all black wallpaper and once again I think it's a throwback to the original iPhone or to the fact that you couldn't set wallpapers on iOS for the longest time you just had the home screen and this stock black background here's the catch though there are three additional wallpapers in the iOS 11 GM but you you only get them if you buy an iPhone 8, an iPhone 8 Plus, or an iPhone 10. However, we were able to obtain them, so if you want to download any one of these three colorish wave design wallpapers, you can get those by visiting the link down below, along with all of these other wallpapers if you aren't on iOS 11 just yet. Now before we move on, I want to take just a second to thank Zently for sponsoring today's video and making it possible. So if you're a renter, you have to check out Zently, which is a free app for your iPhone that allows you to do those pesky renter tasks easier than ever before. Splitting bills with roommates, automatically paying your rent each month, and even sending fix-it requests to your landlord. The app is super easy to use. Under the split bills tab, Zently is automatically going to scan through your recent transactions and find bills to split. Under payments, you can easily organize payments to your landlord straight through Zently so that you never miss a payment and they're always made reliably and securely each and every single time. And if anything in your rental ever breaks or goes bad, you can head over to the request tab and report a new issue through here. Everything from a clogged drain to a torn screen can be filed through here in an automated way so that it gets fixed with your landlord as fast as possible. One lucky person will be entered to win a month of free rent and all you have to do to enter is pay your rent with Zently. So right now Zently is a available in the United States, and if you're interested in trying it out for yourself, make sure you visit the link down below. Moving on to performance, this feels like the best version of iOS 11 that I've used so far. Even between iOS 11 beta 10, which was the last beta version, and the iOS 11 golden master, everything is smooth, the transitions flow in and out, and it just feels great overall. I'm still really interested to see how it compares to iOS 10 as far as speed goes, so if you want to see that video, make sure you hit subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Moving on to battery life in the iOS 11 Golden Master, it is still way too early to tell. I've only been running it here on my iPhone 7 for a couple of hours, but when I was running iOS 11 beta 10, the battery life there still didn't feel as good as iOS 10.3.3. That being said, the GM and iOS 11 beta 10 are a little bit different, so I'll report back soon with how the battery life has been. Now up until this point, we did not have a concrete release date for iOS 11, just sometime in quote unquote fall 2017, but at their September event earlier today, Apple finally gave us something a lot more specific. Are you guys ready? iOS 11 is releasing for everyone on Tuesday, September 19th, probably at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard or 12 p.m. Central, so get hyped for that. I've been using this for the past couple of months and I am so ready for you guys to get your hands on iOS 11 as well because there are so many new features and it's just incredible all the way around. So anyway, guys, that is what's new in the iOS 11 GM and when iOS 11 is releasing for everyone. If you enjoyed watching this video, as always, it would really help me out if you hit that like button down below. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I've been Sam, I hope all of you are doing great, and I will talk to you in my next video.